Hello. Well, this is going to be a video of a different kind um, from the ones that I usually post, which are music and studio equipment related. Um, but this is a video that I think will help, uh, well, anyone who is uh, a Jeep Patriot 2015 and up owner. Um, and I believe that this also applies to the, um, this can work for the um, first generation Jeep Patriots. Um, so I got this unit and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, this is an Android um, car stereo unit. And uh, I love it except by the fact that <laughs> um, the microphone when I'm in a call, this, you know, these units have this type of mic. Okay, and uh, they're pretty much worthless. Um, people, when, when I'm on the road and somebody calls me, they keep saying, what, what, what? And I, and I said, man, you know, I wish I could have, I could, there was a way to use my Uconnect uh, microphones, which are right here. These are the factory Uconnect system from Jeep uh, microphones. Well, there is a way. <laughs> um, so I got a hold of the schematics of the lines that run through here and go down here and end up in, um, oh shoot, you cannot see it. Well, sort of, this little box right there, this little box is a voice module. Uh, and that governs those microphones. But this stereo units, they come with harnesses. And I have this, I noticed that I had this connector, which um, said mic, and it's hardwired to this um, connector. Well, anyway, uh, in order to do what we're gonna do, is um, remove this uh, cover. And you do that by removing a clip that covers this and it exposes a Phillips screw screwdriver. And then after that, you just pull it and you do this. Right there, that's the connector that we are gonna use. Let me see if I can with one hand remove it, which I doubt that I will be able to do that. It's Yep. Okay. It's this harness, I'm sorry, this harness comes from here. Okay. It runs through here and it goes here. And then it connects to this connector, which goes to the box that I show you below. Well, the two wires that are responsible or that connect to the, the microphones here, which are a great quality microphone, are the rightmost wires when this connector is in this position. It has two positions. It was just, this is the back, this is the front. And what I've done is I've um, tapped, I peeled a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom without distorting. I peeled a little bit of the connector of the rightmost um, wire and the one next to it, the second rightmost wire. The rightmost wire corresponds to the equivalent of mic plus, which is um, the one connected to the tip of a mono 3.5 millimeter connector or plug. Um, and the second right most wire is the one that is, maybe I can put something here, yeah, uh, is the one responsible for mic, mic minus, or if we look at the plug again, is the sleeve, this part, the largest part. So tip, mic plus, sleeve, mic minus. And this is represented on the wires that 
that I had fished through, um, the right most wire is going to be the white one. And the second right most wire on this position is the red one. I fished through below here. I ended up here and I simply connected the um, plug to um, the port, the microphone port on the, um, um, the uh, car unit. So I have, I'm gonna finish the job covering these connections properly, but I wanted to, before I do that, show you how to do it. Once you do that, then you will be able to use these microphones without any problem. Um, I'm gonna skip the showing you how to do it because Frankly, I don't have a lot of time to do this video, but uh, I just wanted to provide the um, the knowledge and the know-how after figuring out the schematics of this audio connection here. Hope this helps somebody who's trying to do this. Yeah, because this this these these units have microphones that I don't know where they get them from. But wherever they get from, <laughs> they get them from, they should not get them anymore. So before this uh, video ends, I just wanted to address the most common question per that people could have, which is what kind of cable did you use to do that? What I used was a mono 3.5 millimeter plug cable. Um, these are used for synthesizers such as this one to um, tap into some of the functionality or some specific functionality and bypass it uh, or to communicate with other synthesizers that also have that type of connection. So I have a lot of access to a lot of these. And, uh, um, and although this may look similar to something you may have around the house, it isn't because this is a mono cable. The one you may have is the stereo plug, which has uh, two divisions before it gets to the sleeve, which is tip, ring, and sleeve. The mono cable that I use only has tip and it has sleeve. In case this is, this is what you have, and, and it would seem like uh, the mono cable could, you know, should be the one that is more commonly available, it is not, okay? In this case, you can do the same thing. Uh, what I did is I, you know, grab one end of the mono cable and, you know, cut it, cut off the, uh, the plug and uh, make those connections like I showed you before. Uh, if it's a stereo standard cable, then you, sh you will see three wires, a white one, a black one, and a red one, okay? Sometimes it is a red one, a white one, and a yellow one, okay? You should use the white one, uh, discard the red one, or just cut it off. We will, you will not use the red one and leave the black or the yellow one for the second connector, for the mic minus. That's the only thing I wanted to add, um, and... Uh, uh, hopefully you will have a lot of fun doing it and more importantly, people will be able to hear your phone calls while you're driving.